Yeah, Van Dirty One. The, the the time that I first heard of this guy was when Garrett G hosted him for about a thousand viewers, I think. Garrett ran into him and ranked. I think he smashed him because Van Dirty was just so happy to be playing against Garrett. And he had twitch.tv Van Dirty in his name, so Garrett just hosted him, which is awesome. Garrett G's a great guy. But yeah, he was freaking out. He had tons of viewers. He's freaking out. People started like were donating a lot, and it was it was just awesome to to see. Happy birth, May. What is that? <laughs> Mechanis, whoa! What is this, guys? Calm down. Spamwise jam with fifty quid. Mechanis with two hundred. Happy birthday, Cheese Lord with four twenty. Guys, calm it. I should have like listen. It's only my birthday for another sixteen minutes, so this has to stop very very soon i appreciate that though thank you so much it does mean a lot to me i wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for all of the lovely people on twitch and youtube who uh come and watch my videos come and watch my streams and support me but let's get into this one aj looking for his seventh his seventh best of five win in a row against vandery and you know to continue that story that uh, i was telling you how i became acquainted with vandery how i heard about him after that stream, he hit me up and he said, Johnny, can I play in your stream? And I, I told him, oh, wait a minute. Wait, uh, I, accidentally, I accidentally forgot to reset mutators. But anyway, uh, like, I, like I was saying, um, I, I also put it on Europe. Okay, everything's going wrong. You guys just threw me off my groove with those donations. Okay, we're going back in. But yeah, like I said, he asked me if he could play in my stream. And I told him that um, I, w I wanted to say yes, but not yet. Because I wanted him to keep on grinding. There's nothing worse than somebody coming on stream and just, you know, rushing into that new environment and getting crushed. It, it, it really is not, it's not, you know, something I want to see happen. So he's had a lot of time to try and grind and practice uh, once. He, he knew that this was coming. But this is a tough one. I've kind of thrown him in at the deep end here. AJ has never lost a best of five. So big opportunity here for Vandery. Vandry, sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to sound like I'm mispronouncing it because that's just how we say it in Scotland. It's like quite a thick R, but this is a huge opportunity for him to go up against one of North America's best 1v1 players. I'd put AJ in my top five NA 1v1 players right now. No question in my mind, especially for a series. And Vandry, he's uh, completely unproven. He's been in the top 100 since the end of last season, back in it at the start of this season, but really... Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, how can I play in your stream, Johnny? And I always say, just impress me. You know, this guy, I'm not going to lie, he just impressed me with how, uh, you know, just how legitimate, I don't know, how, it was just cool seeing him get hosted by Garrett and how happy he was. I was like, that's what we need more of in the Rocket League community, just awesome people like that. And Evandry, he's not just here to, you know, have an experience, off to a good start. AJ knows he's the heavy favorite here. Is that going to work against him? Every other matchup that AJ's been on my, on my stream, He's been kind of even with the with the opponent. Um, this time he knows he's a heavy favorite though, so it might be a different sort of different sort of feel for him. This is very rough situation for Vandry. He's done well though, and AJ again slipping up. Vandry going for the goal. He's not gonna be able to get. It. Oh yes, he will. AJ's missed the ball. What is going on? Thanks for the subs, by the way, from Chef Boy R Debo. Wish come true one and Lil Dude one three one one three. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But Vandry is off to a great start here, and AJ is really up against the ropes already. Doesn't look in his comfort zone at all. Oh my goodness, Vandry's just going to pop off real quick, if that's okay with you guys. Another early shot. He's playing this one very quick. He's not wasting any time. AJ inside the net, needs to get up, and he will. Vandry now backwards. Oh, fails his half flip, and that's going to mean AJ's got plenty of time with the open net, surely, to put it in, and he will. But listen, I, I I wanted I wanted to like give a little bit of background to this uh, to to this guy before he comes to stream. So a lot of people are gonna say, so who's Vandry? How 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 has he gotten a shot on on stream when there's you know there's loads of people in his sort of rank range um, who ask me to play if they can play on stream. Oh, brutal 50-50 from AJ. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, you know, I I always give a bit more um, of a. Or, you know, I'll always support uh, fellow content creators more than just someone who's a ranked warrior. Like, try get your name out there. You know, go stream on Twitch, make videos on YouTube. Doesn't matter if anybody watches them, just give it a go. You've got to be willing to try and put your name out there uh, to to really make it worth your while. The, the, the type of people who are going to benefit most from being featured in a show match are streamers, YouTubers, uh, people who want to build a brand for themselves. Not just people who want to go and win a little 
prize pool here and there and have a chance to go up against the world's best. It's a great experience, I know, but you've got to make the most of it, not just for your in-game ability. You've got to also try and build the brand. And AJ's doing just that. He's on an undefeated winning streak in best of fives. He's lost two best of threes on my stream to Killerican and Lethemir, like I've said. Both of those went 2-1 um, against him. He has never lost a best of five, though. And every single series, another bit of AJ um, trivia, and I've said this before, but every AJ series in my stream, even like best of threes, best of fives, he's won them all, but by all, or all, all the ones that he's won, he's dropped at least one game. And the two that he lost, he lost 2-1. That's a great 50-50 in the air by AJ. He just <laughs> turtle caught it to put it in. Still though, Vandering not looking bad here. This is a, a good start for him. He just needs to stay solid. If he can just keep on playing like this, I'm sure he's going to get plenty of chances. And there you go, there's another one. This time he puts it away. So he's back within one. AJ has given Vandry a lot of space because he wants to test him. He says... All right, Vandry, you're the underdog here. Come at me. So let's see what you got. This time, Vandry has a little bit too much for AJ to deal with. And another kickoff going to Vandry's favor. He's got a bit of space. Not enough boost to bring the shot out, but well adapted. Goes into the corner. Steals the boost. And again, gets the demo as well. Can he get the quick turnaround? AJ spawns far side. That is what Vandry wants. Top corner's open. Misses it, but the boost starving might continue. Decides to go for the ball instead of the boost. Is that going to pay off? It can, but only if he plays the ball control absolutely perfectly. That's going to be difficult against a player like AJ. He's very fast. Very good at stepping in and putting pressure on at the right times. And he's saving this boost. He knows he doesn't have much. AJ has used a second jump. That means he can't really do much in offense. But the boost starving is really switched sides. It's now AJ who's in control. One more goal for AJ would really put a lot of pressure on the young man. And it is going to put a lot of pressure on him. Both these guys very young, but um, AJ vastly more experience on my stream at least. Oh yeah, I've got to go put a party hat on. I need to <laughs> need to get a party hat on my car, though. I since it's my birthday, barely. I mean, just the fact that I napped today, like I spent a lot of my birthday just sleeping in preparation for the all nighter that's uh, that's ahead of me. Does that make it? Um, does that make it my birthday continue on into the night? Like really, I'm a nocturnal. Guy. Oh, Vandry completely dangles AJ. What a fake by the newcomer. <laughs> and that's the perfect time to do a mind game. When your opponent is looping back around like AJ was, there was only one time that AJ could challenge. Vandry knew that. That's not a good kickoff, though. He's been solid up until now, but this was just gone straight in. And he's two down again. Vandry sticking with AJ, but he's not been able to get his lead back since the 2-0 um, storm that he got in the beginning. What's the all-nighter for? I was saying earlier that I'm casting Chief Infinity this weekend, so I need to, I need to stay up all night tonight Johnny. to fix my Thanks schedule. Thanks for everything you've done for me and this community. Who won billion two hundred and thirty-four million five hundred and forty-five thousand six hundred and thirty-two tried hard. No problem, man. It's uh, awesome. I mean, Ixo, Ixo's a guy who just got you know recommended by OSM said is a really good player he doesn't play ranks much but he pretty much taught me 1v1 so I said all right let's see let's see how good he is and he really did pop off in his first ever appearance against Flores had a couple of close losses since then still doing really well big things ahead in your 1v1 career no doubt one goal in this AJ told me before the game that he feels he's a heavy favorite here he was asking me do you think it's wise putting him up against Vanry because he is on the undefeated streak he knows that he is the player to beat right now Vandry in his stream debut. He did get the boost there. Oh my goodness. AJ's under pressure. He can't attack this ball. Vandry is going to maybe go up. He decides not to. And AJ, zero boost, ball carry. Gets the flick nonetheless. Oh my goodness. You just can't give this guy space, boost or not. Just a little bit of acceleration there. And then a lot of acceleration on the ball. My goodness, AJ knows how to flick regardless of his boost total that might be the end of game one still a great debut performance I think for Vandery he could have won this game oh AJ's gonna put another one past him just to make it a little bit more emphatic look at that rebound AJ completely air rolls against his dodge to stop himself from turning 
And he follows up with a rebound. 8-5. AJ is going to take game one. And this guy, like I said, he's never won a best of five 3-0. He's never lost a series without winning a game. So what's it going to be today, AJ? Is this going to be your first sweep? Is this going to be another one of those series that you just go 3-1, maybe 3-2? I'm sure Vanry would be happy if he could just take a couple games here, if he could take even one game. The first game wasn't too bad, honestly. Like I, I was I was worried for Vandry. He told me before this that he was feeling very nervous. His hands were shaking. Uh, so I'm thinking to myself, this this could be bad. Think back to Firewall's first ever appearance on stream. He lost 11-2 to First Killer and then brought that series back and actually won it. There's been lots of uh, debut performances back, back in the day, especially when players just come on and get clapped by a more experienced player. Oh no, it might turn into that today if AJ can keep this up. Good save though from Vandry. Close range saves on ceiling shots are always very scary. You don't know what exactly you're going to be up against. Not the most proactive move there for Vandry. And AJ is up again, rebounds it again. This is confidence from AJ. This is the confidence that he was lacking at the start of the game one that we just saw. He had a couple of misplays that let Vandry get his foot into the door. Game one. Kickoffs are really looking good though for this guy. Well played though for AJ. That's a good recovery. Vanry forced back. Thought for a second that he was going to get a chance on AJ's net. So still good confidence from Vanry. He's not giving AJ too much space too often. And I like that because AJ is a player, like we saw, if you give him space, he will punish you. And Vanry knows that. He's really up against it though. AJ has the boost advantage and he slots it in the bottom corner for 2-0. And now this is the real test. Vandry, he stayed with AJ in game one. Can he do it again? He knows he's up against it now. It's a best of five, but is he really going to win this series if he goes 2-0 down? It's going to be a really, really tough one to come back from. AJ with that complete uh, pit maneuver there. On to Vandry. Vandry would have loved to set up a wall shot, but he couldn't turn. AJ was present. Misses his um, bump into AJ. AJ waiting for the respawn of the boost. He did get it. Another shadow for AJ. Vandry's shot, not quite enough. And he skips the boost grab in the corner, smartly identifying that AJ might be about to pull the trigger. That was a very good turn away. Answer please, when does the Elite Series start? You can't feel, fight, feel any info, find any info. The Elite Series starts at 10 in the morning UK time on Saturday. That's where it starts. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my chat. I've been looking at this game quite intently. AJ starting to put the squeeze onto the new boy and it was a good game one performance but you can't just play well and expect to beat AJ you need to play your best and that is um, what Vandry is trying his hardest to do AJ didn't need to pick up that boost in the respawn Vandry snips in and steals it nips in and steals it I should say one or snips in what am I talking about but what is it going to be for Vandry? He's yet to find the goal. He's not on the score sheet for game two, and that's a real problem. It's a real problem. The more time goes by in a 1v1 in Rocket League, when you haven't scored, you just start to lose confidence. That's a good 50-50. Oh, he couldn't finish it off, though. Heartbreak for Vandry. Got the ball underneath AJ, but that's all he was able to do. Couldn't put it on target. And now he's got slammed out of the game. Spawns in front of the ball, though. This could be interesting. Up for the interception. AJ might have just taken that across the goal for the boost starve. And if he has, that's very smart. Oh, look at the bump from Vandry, though. Temporary open net yet again. He's doing well to hang on here. A lot of very, very difficult situations for Vandry. AJ's making this so hard for him. Starving boost in the back corners, in the midfield, piling on the pressure. Vandry's playing a good physical game to prevent AJ from finding his comfort zone. Oh, I think that's an own goal. <laughs> that's a very unfortunate own goal if it is. AJ's flick was going to go off the crossbar. It was an own goal for Vandry. That is so unfortunate. He was up against one of the best flickers in the world from close range, tried to pre-jump and accidentally lands on the ball and put it in his own net. Got a feel for him. Good again on the boost grab in the midfield. 
He's playing quite smart with his positioning. Unfortunately, AJ has just been mechanically excellent in game two especially. He's been very, very smart with his dodges. And just beats Vandry to the ball enough to keep Vandry at bay. 4-0 and another shadow from AJ. Vandry needs more on his shots. He just doesn't have enough momentum on these uh, on these shots. He's just not striking the ball with any real power. Surely this time, there it is. Squeaks it in the bottom corner. And he's finally on the board just over a minute to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm staying up all night to reset my sleep schedule. That's right. So it's just coming on midnight. It's midnight in one minute. Uh, but I'll be staying up all night tonight. I took a nap. Like, I've been up for um, since the afternoon today. But I took a nap and now I'm streaming. Oh, Vandry again. Weak shot from close range. What could have been in game two? What could have been? Because Vandry's had some heroic defenses against some very, very difficult to defend um, moves from AJ. What is lacking, though, is the just the, the self-confidence in his attack. He's just not looked like he believes in himself to score. He's holding back a lot of power in his shots. Here's another one. This is better, but not good enough against a player like AJ. He needs to be a little bit smarter. Very telegraphed shot there. And AJ is just going to steal the boost to frustrate Vandery even more. It was a much closer game one um, in appearance. Even though both games are three goal differentials, this one is this one's been very one-sided. AJ's looked very controlled. He looks like he might be about to take his first three-game sweep on my stream. Like I said, every best of five that he's played on my stream, he has won in the past, but he's never swept anybody. This is a big chance for AJ to do just that. He wants to. Uh, I forgot I had chat disabled. Let's do that right now. I'm sure these guys are saying GG. They're not toxic. Don't worry. So now we get to see what kind of Vandery is going to come out when he is completely backed into a corner. Very, um, very often players play their best when they're backed into a corner, especially in Rocket League. Players like Cuxer have said that about themselves in the past. Firewall is another one in recent memory that's played his best when he's completely um, down and out of a game. Miraculously bringing it back. Vandry going for the wall here. He could have infield dribbled this, but he's looking for the flip reset. Gets it, but he's used his jump. Instead just fires it. Or it's AJ, sorry. Oh my goodness, they switched teams. I'm such an idiot. I was like, oh my goodness, Vandry's going for the wall here. This is crazy. Never seen him do this before, but it's because it's, it's AJ. <laughs> Uh, well, if it, it's a lot, it makes a lot more sense if it's AJ in this situation. My bad. Sorry, AJ. I missed. I ruined your montage. You can't use that clip in any of your um, any of your montages anymore because I, I said the wrong name. If you want, I'll, I'll re-record uh, the audio for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My bad. I didn't even notice that they switched teams because their car looks so similar in color. He's doing it again. AJ is honestly he's more at home on the ceiling than anywhere else. And this email is brutal. Vandry with another nice shot. He's only got compliments for his opponent here. Young and handsome. Now he is just handsome. Haha, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, the name's stream, but I didn't read it. I, I don't read down there. Um, to I, like a lot of people think I need that for spectating, but I don't. I know, like I I could do this, right? Watch. We don't need that to spectate. I only leave it up because some people need that to be able to know what who's who's in what team. Like people complain if I don't have it up on stream. But if I'm doing tournaments, I would just do it like this. Oh, Vandry, this is heartbreaking. Double crossbar, and now AJ is just frustrating him by ball chasing. It's the right thing to do, though. AJ needs to ball chase here. But yeah, one for blue team, five for orange team. That's the spectate one v one. It's really easy. You don't need, you don't need the the H overlay. Happy just get birthday, rid of that. Johnny! If you want to. Congrats on surviving another year. Hope it's been yeah, I don't look at that either. Uh, I have zero. no clue that I haven't subbed to you yet. L O L, love your content, and for the record, I completely agree with your list of top ten Rocket League players. Hey, Chef Boy or Debo Debo, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. That's that's thirty quid, dude. That's insane. I really appreciate that so much. And yeah, thanks for subbing as well. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. Hey, but now nah, listen. Let me just. To pause while Vandry runs in this open net, surely, and say I've, I've seen a lot of people say uh, that I can only do spectating because I always look down here to see what the names are. I don't. Like, you just have, if it's 1v1, you just remember one blue team, five orange teams. It's that simple. That's, that's how you spectate. I never look at this, like, bottom left corner stats thing. Never. 
is basically not there for me. I covered it up in one of my streams and people were like, hey, stop covering up the stats thing. I'm like, people look at that? I never looked at that in the history of Rocket League. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, my heart goes out to Vander. He's trying so hard, but AJ is just not making this easy for him. Three stylish goals to make it 3-0. Yeah, that's, that's how you spectate 1v1. One is blue team, five is orange team. Simple as that. Don't forget. The other day on stream when Flowers about 1v1 Squishy said I don't even have time to watch that shit. It's stupid. What I did didn't even watch 12 Titans. Yeah, I bet, I bet he did though. Shadow on true talent like I bet he did though. I don't believe it for a second. Um, I'm really sticking in this one. You know, I'm, I'm not writing him off just yet. AJ is playing this game. Um, kind of how I expected him to play it. He's looking for montage goals. He's got two ceiling shots in a mind game. Like <laughs> he's he's going for the style points as well as the win, and he's good enough to to make that work. But I could see a couple of two goal misses sneaking in there. If, if AJ misses a ceiling shot, for example, uh, hits the bar or you know fails a mind game, that's essentially a two goal miss because Vandries can take the ball and put it in the open net. We saw him do it once already. So AJ's got to be careful. He's not out of the woods yet. And, you know, what does he really want? Does AJ want his first ever 3-0 sweep? Or does he want a couple of cool looking goals? That's up to him to decide. Um, and I wouldn't blame him for picking, some, picking the cool goal route because that's perfectly acceptable. What's it going to be, though, for Vandry on the other side? Is he going to continue shooting well? So far, he's shooting well in Game 3. I criticized his Game 2 performance. Wasn't anywhere near what he brought to the table in Game 1 in terms of shooting. And still in... In game three, you know, I'm yet to be completely convinced that he uh, that he's really playing confidently. AJ, another mind game and another successful one. Vandry is going to have to start flipping into the ball in defense because AJ has done this twice in a row now. And you know, I, I know Vandry's probably going to watch this back. I don't know if he's if he's listening live. Vandry, if you're listening live, I'd advise you not to. That's going to tilt you. Just <laughs> just pause the stream or at least mute the stream. Um, but what I was going to say is that Vandry needs to stop with the linear dribbles. Every time AJ's shadowing, Vandry's got a very, very predictable line. He's coming straight at AJ. And if he wants to do volleys, you know, pop the ball and shoot it from the high point of the arc. Or if he wants to half volley it, he needs to have a bit more of an angle. Look at players like KDOP, look at players like Fairy Peak. They're always coming in with a sweeping angle. They come across from either a big, a wide run up or have the ball bouncing off targets so that they can uh, get the angle like that. So far, though, my prediction is. Look at to be true. AJ with another two goal miss sets up Vandry for the equalizer. Uh, one blue team, five orange team seems kind of unfair. Surely one v there wouldn't be for us to be able to play for the orange team. That's just like the hotkeys. Listen, what you seal. It's the hotkeys. I know you're trolling me. Oh, good recovery from AJ. Vandry with another nice shot. Look, I, we, we probably missed all these nice shots and thanks. Complimentary. Um, what do you call it? Complimentary quick chats. All the way through the series because I accidentally had quick chat disabled. My bad. AJ still, I think, about to take his first ever 3-0 sweep. Vandry's been there with them for most of the series, but he's always been in AJ's shadow. And that is the third flip reset ceiling shot from AJ. Look at the placement there. Vandry trying to make that adaptation. He failed to save both of AJ's earlier ceiling shots reactively. He tried to stay on his goal line and it didn't work out. This time he tries to get up quick. AJ just fires from distance. How do you stop that? It really is so brutal. Oh no, and now Vandry is really starting to feel the pressure. Final minute approaches. Down by two. And AJ is just making it that little bit more difficult for Vandry to believe in himself with all these mechanical outplays. And look at that from AJ. How does he do it? It looks like this is an unscorable position. But he makes it work. Great mechanics at the near post. Another three goal differential. 51 seconds. It's now and ever for the debut player. His kickoffs have been doing pretty well this series. I've got to say, that's one thing that he didn't let slip. His shooting has been lackluster, though. Another long shot. Another shot lacking power. Andre off the wall. Doesn't have his dodge. It's going to be difficult to challenge AJ. And AJ has come out on top. Goes to the side to grab the boost. He's looking for a mind game again, I'm sure. 
or a flip reset. Finds a bit of both, but this time Vandery is there to meet him. That boost seals surely secured the win though for AJ's first ever 3 0 sweep. And this guy has just won his seventh best of five in a row on stream. You know, credit to Vandry. He defended quite well for most of the series. It was only game three where uh, AJ started bringing out the montage plays that re Vandry really looked exposed. Before that, he was st sticking with it. Uh, and I think if he had just played more confidently in offense, if he dribbled a little bit smarter uh, into AJ's shadowing, he would have given himself a real, a real chance here to take a couple of games. Yeah, over zero, I agree. If somebody perfects ceiling shots, um, 1v1 is going to be completely transformed. Yeah, GG's, GG's to Vandry. Good to see... Uh, Good to see that he didn't get completely crushed here. I mean, I I, I, I would have had AJ 90-10 favorite here, but Vandry made a, you know, made made real games out of this. They, these were some uh, some close games. Still though, AJ could play more consistently. At times, AJ it, it's rare that he'll make it all the way through a series, consi with uh, you know consistent play throughout. That I've not seen that yet. But AJ is definitely up there with the best in North America. I mean, Squishy, Dapper, and Lethemir are probably my top three for North America one v one at the moment. AJ might be right behind them at number four. He he might just be the next best player. I'm sure Vandry would be happy if he could just take a couple games here. If he could take even one game. The first game wasn't too bad, honestly. Like I, I was I was worried for Vandry. He told me before this that he was feeling very nervous. His hands were shaking. Uh, so I'm thinking to myself, this this could be bad. Think back to Firewall's first ever appearance on stream. He lost 11-2 to first killer and then brought that series back and actually won it there's been lots of uh, debut performances back back in the day especially where players just come on and get clapped by a more experienced player oh no it might turn into that today if AJ can keep this up good save though from Bandry close range saves on ceiling shots are always very scary you don't know what exactly you're going to be up against not the most proactive move there for Bandry and AJ is up again rebounds it again this is confidence from AJ. This is the confidence that he was lacking at the start of the game one that we just saw. He had a couple of misplays that let Vandry get his foot into the door of game one. Kickoffs are really looking good though for this guy. Well played though for AJ. That's a good recovery. Vandry forced back. Thought for a second that he was going to get a chance on AJ's net. This is still good confidence from Vandry. He's not giving AJ too much space too often. And I like that because AJ is a player, like we saw, if you give him space, he will punish you. And Bandry knows that. He's really up against it though. AJ has the boost advantage and he slots it in the bottom corner for 2-0. And now this is the real test. Bandry, he stayed with AJ in game one. Can he do it again? He knows he's up against it now. It's a best of five, but is he really going to win this series if he goes 2-0 down? It's going to be a really, really tough one to come back from. AJ with that complete uh, pit maneuver there onto Vandry. Vandry would have loved to set up a wall shot but he couldn't turn. AJ was present. Misses his um, bump into AJ. AJ waiting for the respawn of the boost. He did get it. Another shadow for AJ. Vandry's shot not quite enough and he skips the boost grab in the corner smartly identifying that AJ might be about to pull the trigger. That was a very good turn away. Answer please, when does the Elite Series start? You can't feel fight, feel any info, find any info. The Elite Series starts at 10 in the morning UK time on Saturday. That's where we start. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my chat. I've been looking at this game quite intently. AJ starting to put the squeeze onto the new boy. And it was a good game one performance, but you can't just play well and expect to beat AJ. You need to play your best. And that is um, what Vandry is trying his hardest to do. AJ didn't need to pick up that boost in the respawn. Vandry snips in and steals it. Nips in and steals it, I should say. One snips in. What am I talking about? But what is it going to be for Vandry? He's yet to find the goal. He's not on the score sheet for game two, and that's a real problem. It's a real problem. The more time goes by in a 1v1 in Rocket League when you haven't scored you just start to lose confidence that's a good 50-50 oh he couldn't finish it off though heartbreak for Vandery got the ball underneath AJ but that's all he was able to do couldn't put it on target and now he's got slammed out of the game spawns in front of the ball though this could be interesting 
up for the interception. AJ might have just taken that across the goal for the boost starve. And if he has, that's very smart. Oh, look at the bump from Vandry, though. Temporary open net yet again. He's doing well to hang on here. A lot of very, very difficult situations for Vandry. AJ's making this so hard for him. Starving boost in the back corners, in the midfield, piling on the pressure. Vandry's playing a good physical game to prevent AJ from finding his comfort zone. Oh, I think that's an own goal. <laughs> that's a very unfortunate own goal if it is. AJ's flick was going to go off the crossbar. It was an own goal for Vandry. That is so unfortunate. He was up against one of the best flickers in the world from close range, tried to pre-jump and accidentally lands on the ball and put it in his own net. Got a feel for him. Good again on the boost grab in the midfield. He's playing quite smart with his positioning. Unfortunately, AJ has just been mechanically excellent in game two especially. He's been very, very smart with his dodges and just beats Vandry to the ball enough to keep Vandry at bay. 4-0 and another shadow from AJ. Vandry needs more on his shots. He just doesn't have enough momentum on these uh, on these shots. He's just not striking the ball with any real power. Surely this time, there it is. Squeaks it in the bottom corner and he's finally on the board just over a minute to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm staying up all night to reset my sleep schedule. That's right. So it's just coming on midnight. It's midnight in one minute. Uh, but I'll be staying up all night tonight. I took a nap. Like, I've been up for um, since the afternoon today. But I took a nap and now I'm streaming. Oh, Vandry again. Weak shot from close range. What could have been in game two? What could have been? Because Vandry's had some heroic defenses against some very, very difficult to defend um, moves from AJ. What is lacking though is the just the, the self-confidence in his attack. He's just not looked like he believes in himself to score. He's holding back a lot of power in his shots. Here's another one. This is better, but not good enough against a player like AJ. He needs to be a little bit smarter. Very telegraphed shot there. And AJ is just going to steal the boost to frustrate Vandery even more. It was a much closer game one. Um, in appearance, even though both games are three goal differentials, this one is this one's been very one-sided. AJ's looked very controlled. He looks like he might be about to take his first three-game sweep on my stream. Like I said, every best of five that he's played on my stream, he has won in the past, but he's never swept anybody. This is a big chance for AJ to do just that. He wants to. Uh, I forgot I chat to say, but let's do that right now. I'm sure these guys are saying GG. They're not toxic, don't worry. So now we get to see what kind of Vandery is going to come out when he is completely backed into a corner. Very, um, very often players play their best when they're backed into a corner, especially in Rocket League. Players like Cuxer have said that about themselves in the past. Firewall is another one in recent memory that's played his best when he's completely um, down and out of a game. Miraculously bringing it back. Vandry going for the wall here. He could have infield dribbled this. But he's looking for the flip reset. Gets it. But he's used his jump. Instead just fires it. Or it's AJ, sorry. Oh my goodness, they switched teams. I'm such an idiot. I was like, oh my goodness, Vandry's going for the wall here. This is crazy. Never seen him do this before. But it's because it's, it's AJ. <laughs> uh, well, if it, it, it's a lot, it makes a lot more sense if it's AJ in this situation. My bad. Sorry, AJ. I, miss, I ruined your montage. You can't use that clip in any of your, um, any of your montages anymore. Because... I said the wrong name. If you want, I'll, I'll re-record uh, the audio for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My bad. I didn't even notice that they switched teams because their car looks so similar in color. He's doing it again. AJ, is he, honestly, he's more at home on the ceiling than anywhere else. And this is brutal. This is brutal. Bandry with another nice shot. He's only got compliments for his opponent here. young and handsome. Now he is just handsome. Ha ha. Happy birthday. Yeah, the name is the stream, but I didn't read it. I, I don't read down there. Um, to... Like, a lot of people think I need that for spectating, but I don't. I know, like, I, I could do this, right? Watch. We don't need that to spectate. I only leave it up because some people need that to be able to know what, who's, who's in what team. Like, people complain if I don't have it up on stream. But if I'm doing tournaments, I would just do it like this. Oh, Vandry. This is heartbreaking. Double crossbar. And now AJ is just frustrating him. 
by ball chasing. It's the right thing to do though. AJ needs to ball chase here. But yeah, one for blue team, five for orange team. That's the spectate one v one. It's really easy. You don't need, you don't need the the H overlay. Just Happy get birthday, rid of that. Johnny! You want to. Congrats on surviving another year. Hope it's been yeah, I don't look at that either. Uh, I have zero. no clue that I hadn't subbed to you yet. Tell OL love your content, and for the record, I completely agree with your list of top ten Rocket League players. Hey, Chef Boy or Debo Debo, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. That's that's thirty quid, dude. That's insane. I really appreciate that so much. And yeah, thanks for subbing as well. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. Hey, but now nah, listen. Let me just. Pause while Vandry runs in this open net, surely, and say I've I've seen a lot of people say uh, that I can only do spectating because I always look down here to see what the names are. I don't like you just have, if it's one v one, you just remember one blue team, five orange team. That simple. That's that's how you spectate. I never look at this like bottom left corner stats thing. Never. It's basically not there for me. I covered it up in one of my streams, and people were like, "Hey, stop covering up the stats thing." I'm like, people look at that. I never looked at that in the history of Rocket League. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, my heart goes out to Vandry. He's tried so hard, but AJ is just not making this easy for him. Three stylish goals to make it 3 0. Yeah, that's that's how you spectate 1v1. One is blue team, five is orange team. Simple as that. Don't forget. The other day on stream, when Flowers about 1v1 squishy said, I don't even have time to watch that shit. It's stupid. I didn't even watch 12 Titans. Yeah, I bet, I bet you did, though. Nothing shadow on true talent like arrogance. I bet you did, though. I don't believe it for a second. Um, I'm really sticking in this one. You know, I'm, I'm not writing him off just yet. AJ is playing this game. Um, kind of how I expected him to play it. He's looking for montage goals. He's got two ceiling shots in a mind game. Like, <laughs> he's, he's going for the style points as well as the win. And he's good enough to, to make that work. But I could see a couple of two goal misses sneaking in there. If, if AJ misses a ceiling shot, for example, uh, hits the bar or, you know, fails a mind game, that's essentially a two goal miss because Vandry's going to take the ball and put it in the open net. We saw him do it once already. So AJ's got to be careful. He's not out of the woods yet. And, you know, what does he really want? Does AJ want his first ever 3 0 sweep or does he want a couple of cool looking goals? That's up to him to decide. Um, and I wouldn't blame him for picking, to, picking the cool goal route because. That's perfectly acceptable. What's it going to be, though, for Vandry on the other side? Is he going to continue shooting well? So far, he's shooting well in Game 3. I criticized his Game 2 performance. Wasn't anywhere near what he brought to the table in Game 1 in terms of shooting. And still in, in Game 3, you know, I'm yet to be completely convinced that, he, uh, that he's really playing confidently. AJ, another mind game and another successful one. Vandry is going to have to start flipping into the ball in defense because AJ's done this twice in a row now. And, you know, I, I know Vandry's probably going to watch this back. I don't know if he's if he's listening live. Vandry, if you're listening live, I'd advise you not to. That's going to tilt you. Just, <laughs> just pause the stream or at least mute the stream. Um, but what I was going to say is that Vandry needs to stop with the linear dribbles. Every time AJ's shadowing, Vandry's got a very, very predictable line. He's coming straight at AJ. And if he wants to do volleys, you know, pop the ball and shoot it from the high point of the arc, or if he wants to half volley it, he needs to have a bit more of an angle. Look at players like Kadop, look at players like Fairy Peak. They're always coming in with a sweeping angle. They come across from either a big, a wide run up, or have the ball bouncing off target so that they can uh, get the angle like that. So far, though, my prediction is looking to be true. AJ with another two goal miss sets up Vandry for the equalizer. Uh, one blue team, five orange team seems kind of unfair. Surely one v one there wouldn't be for us to be playing for the orange team. That's just like the hotkeys. Listen, what you seal. It's the hotkeys. I know you're trolling me. Oh, good recovery from AJ. Vandry with another nice shot. Like, I, we, we probably missed all these nice shots and thanks. Complimentary. Um, what do you call it? Complimentary quick chats. All the way through the series because I accidentally had quick chats disabled. My bad. AJ still, I think, about to take his first ever 3-0 sweep. Vandry's been there with him for most of the series, but he's always been in AJ's shadow. And that is the third flip reset ceiling shot from AJ. Look at the placement there. Vandry trying to make that adaptation. He failed to save both of AJ's earlier ceiling shots reactively. He tried to stay on his goal line, and it didn't work out. This time he tries to get up quick. AJ just fires from distance. 
How do you stop that? It really is so brutal. Oh no, and now Vandry is really starting to feel the pressure. Final minute approaches. Down by two. And AJ is just making it that little bit more difficult for Vandry to believe in himself with all these mechanical outplays. And look at that from AJ. How does he do it? It looks like this is an unscorable position. But he makes it work. Great mechanics at the near post. Another three goal differential. 51 seconds. It's now or never for the debut player. His kickoffs have been doing pretty well this series. I've got to say, that's one thing that he didn't let slip. His shooting has been lackluster, though. Another long shot, another shot lacking power. Andre off the wall. Doesn't have his dodge. It's going to be difficult to challenge AJ, and AJ has come out on top. Goes to the side to grab the boost. He's looking for a mind game again, I'm sure. Or a flip reset. Finds a bit of both, but this time Vandery is there to meet him. That boost seals surely secured the win, though, for AJ's first ever 3 0 sweep. And this guy has just won his seventh best of five in a row on stream. You know, credit to Vandery. He defended quite well for most of the series. It was only game three where uh, AJ started bringing out the montage plays that re Vandery really looked exposed. Before that, he was st sticking with it. Uh, and I think if he had just played more confidently in offense, if he dribbled a little bit smarter uh, into AJ's shadowing, he would have given himself a, really, a real chance here to take a couple of games. Yeah, over zero, I agree. If somebody perfects ceiling shots, um, 1v1 is going to be completely transformed. Yeah, GG's, GG's to Vandry.